Hi, Storytime friends. It's so great to see all of you here today with Miss Crystal. Wow, what wonderful faces we have. Are you ready to sing our hello song with me? All right, let's get started. Get those hands up. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Yay! Great job. All right, so we're going to move on. I have flowers for you guys to count today. That's right, some real pretty flowers. Do you want to help me count some flowers today? Yeah, because it's spring. Yeah, our theme today is springtime. So let's see if we can help count some flowers, okay? One little, two little, three little flowers. Four little, five little, six little flowers. Seven little, eight little, nine little flowers. 10 little flowers in springtime. That's right. Now with flowers to help them grow, they need rain. How we make rain? We're gonna pour some rain on it. Ooh, yeah, and they need sunshine. Help me with the sunshine. Whoa, there you go. And some more rain. Yes, and some more sunshine. One more time, a little bit more rain and some sunshine. And once they get all of that beautiful rain and some sunshine, our flowers will grow and 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 grow until they get really big and tall. That's right. They might not grow as big as us, but they do get beautiful tall. And you can plant seeds to make flowers as well as fruits and vegetables. That's right. We'll talk about that here in a minute. I have a wonderful bear story for you today, which is Bear Counts, which is one of my favorite stories. You guys know I love bear books. And it's written by Karma Wilson. And the illustrator is Jane Chapman, who does a lot of the bear books. I think she might even do all of them. Now, this book is read with permission from Simon and Schuster, and I'm going to need you guys to help me count today. That's right, because Bear is counting today, and he's got friends that's going to help him today. Yeah, there we go. Can you see? I'm going to put that up to you. I'm going to pull it back. That's right. Bear and Mouse share breakfast, basking in the morning sun, and Bear looks up and points. And he sees, and oh, he can count too. What do you think he's gonna count? What's the first number? Can you shout it really loud? Oh, one, that's right. One sun floating high and one giant firefly. And over on this side, can you see it? Yeah. There's one bird in her nest. And one little tiny berry left. I think Mouse found the berry, yes. Now numbers, numbers everywhere. Can you help and count along with Bear? That's right, how many? One, good job. All right, Mouse and Bear, they meet up with hair. And, and hair calls out, how do you? And he's holding yummy fruit and bear counts. I wonder how many pieces of fruit he has. You ready to yell it out? That's right, what's the next number? Two, great job. That's right, two paws which hold a treat. Two apples crisp and sweet. Two stumps that make perfect chairs and two friends who love to share. Numbers, numbers everywhere. Can you count with bear? That's right, let's see here. One right there and two, good job. Now bear hears funny sounds coming from an aspen tree. I wanna show you that picture. Can you see what's up in that tree right there? That's right, there's three birds. There's a raven, an owl, and a wren, and bear counts. You ready to yell that number out too? Three, that's right, one, two, three. Three chums who chitter chatter, three funny muskrats too, three clouds above the trees and three buzzing bumblebees. 
buzz, 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 buzz. That's right. All right, numbers, numbers everywhere. Can you count with bear? One, two, three. Oh, very good. Oh my goodness, look at all the fun animals in this picture. Yeah, all of the fun ones. Yeah. Bear cries, look, it's Badger mulling gopher by the shore. Badger has his fishing pole. And then bear counts. You ready to yell it? Yeah. Let's see. Four. That's right. One, two, three, four. Four fish splish and splash. Four geese, they waddle past. There's four croaking, hopping frogs. And then of course, what are those? Four turtles on a log. They're just sitting there. Numbers, numbers everywhere. Can you count with bear? Ready? One, two, three, and four. Good job. Oh, this is my favorite page. Look at Bear. He's swimming with river otters. That's right. I love river otters. There's so many and they're so pretty here in Florida. Mouse squeaks, let's go swimming. And in the pond they dive. The friends float in the pond and the bear counts. I wonder how many animals this time. You ready? Five. That's right. Five river otters. How fun is that? Five ducks in the water. Five lively river otters. Five lovely lily pads. And five pinching little crow dads. I used to go out in our backyard and we used to get these in our little creek that we had back there. Numbers, numbers everywhere. Now you can count just like bear. You ready to help me count? Yeah. One, two, three, four, and five. You guys did an amazing job with this book today. I love bear. You can explore more bear books here at the library too. I love it. He's so friendly. Sometimes he gets in a lot of trouble, but his friends kind of help him out there. So I have another little rhyme to do with flowers. Can you help me out? And this is a finger rhyme that we're gonna do together. Can you hold like a pretend seed right here in your fingers? Yeah. And your palm is gonna be kind of like the ground where we plant the seed. Yeah, okay. Like this and bring these fingers up. Good job. All right. A little seed for me to sow. You wanna sing it? Okay. A little seed for me to sow. There you go. A little soil. Pretend like you're burying it. That's right. To help it grow. A little sun. Make your hand up here. Yeah. A little rain. Yeah. A little weight. I guess what? And then a flower. That's right. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, good job. You guys were wonderful today. Yeah, I love how you got along so well and all my friends. Now, if you were able to pick up a packet or just download it from our website to make our fun craft activity that we've got for our, for our story time takeout, it is what we call a spring turley. Yeah, yeah, can you say that word? Can you say it? Yeah, I don't hear it. Twirly gig, that's right. Now it's really pretty. And if you push it really far up, it looks like kind of a flower. Yeah, I've got a lot of glue right here because I don't want that top piece to come off. But it looks like a flower that way. But when you bring it down, it's almost like, looky there, an umbrella. And then if you twist it a little bit, the paper twists. And it kind of makes different shapes if you do it kind of slow. And it kind of acts like a little fan. But if you do it really fast, oh, look how cool that is. Yeah. That's what the speed and how the paper makes it do it. And it's really neat. So if you can pick this up and make one, I would love to see pictures of your guys's and what they look like and everything. And I hope you have fun with this this spring. Yeah, lots of fun. I, I keep playing with mine. So for you little ones, a thousand books before kindergarten here at the library is a lot of fun. And for you parents, you can either start your child on the road to reading or if you're a kid, hey, tell mom you want to start a thousand books before kindergarten so that you can get on the path to reading success. That's right. Now, 
if your age is birth to five or your child is ages birth to five, and you can participate in this, you can join by signing up through Beanstack, or you can pick up a brochure here at the local library, or you can just give us a call. We'll help you out, stop in, whatever you'd like. Um, any book you read to your child or that is read to them, like my book today would count. And I read this book so many times, I would read it five or six times. You can actually count the same book over and over again if your child enjoys that book so much. And it counts towards that. Now, when you've logged your thousand books, you're going to make an appointment with your local librarian, or um, if you're here in St. Cloud, you can come to me and we'll make an appointment. And what we can do is we want to put his or her handprint up on our literacy tree that we have here on display at the library. Now, right now, I don't have any handprints. So I would love to see some of you guys come in and fill up my tree with your beautiful handprint. So get to read it and get to coming in too, all right? So thank you for joining me today. Are you ready? Wave them high, wave them low. Guess what? It's time to go. Wave your fingers, wave your nose, wave your ears. Oh, now wave your toes. There you go. Wave your tongue, wave your lips, wave your fingers. Now blow a kiss with your fingertips. Can you wave your hair? Now turn around and wave your derriere. Wow, it was so great to see you guys today. And I can't wait till we get up again. I will see you soon. Have a great day.